Welcome to the Lead Pedal Podcast with your host Bruce Outry. He talks all things trucking. Now let's get rolling. All right, how's everybody doing today? Welcome to another edition of the Lead Pedal Podcast. This is episode number 1146. I'm your host, Bruce Elridge, and today we're going to talk about the Coca-Cola Christmas truck. That's right, I thought it was a fitting thing for uh, Christmas as to when it happened. So when did the first Christmas truck come around? Well, I'll tell you right about that right after this. Hey, did you hear about Bison? That's right, Bison Transport has their Right to the Side program is probably one of their main programs for safety. They allow drivers to shut down whenever needed to make sure that they are comfortable on the road and doing what they need to do uh, comfortably. So, you know, that's the cool thing about a company like Bison. They understand what it is. They call it their right to the side, and they put safety first. Uh, The policy gives drivers their ultimate protection, and drivers make the final decision if it is safe to drive, and Bison actively encourages drivers to use the policy. In fact, they've got a safe driving reward program, and Bison's safe driving reward program financially rewards drivers for achieving safe miles. Their top-level drivers earn up to 15% more through this program. And rewards are paid quarterly and can be deposited directly into a group RSP if you choose. So there you go. There's some of the benefits and the safety to running with Bison. So let's talk about the Coca-Cola Christmas truck. You've probably seen this around. It's been around for a while and is... um, uh, in a number of countries as well. So if you didn't know about this, then you're certainly about to find out about it. So the uh, the Christmas truck, actually, just to give you some facts about it, started in 1995, and it was in a television show. So it had its first TV appearance in 1995, and uh, the bright red Coca-Cola truck has become an, almost an iconic as Santa Claus himself over the years. This thing's pretty well decked out. It's got Christmas lights basically tracing all the lines of the truck, which is cool. And as soon as the shining lights make their first appearance, the festive season seems to have truly begun. The truck was first seen on television in 1995 when most of what was seen was merely special effects. And the effects were created by um, Industrial Light and Magic, the same company that created the uh, special lex- special effects for Star Wars movies. And... Uh, In 1998, millions of viewers were watching the Coca-Cola adverts over the festive season, which meant that over 100 countries had witnessed the big red truck on their screens. Each year, the Coca-Cola truck visits more than 40 locations up and down the UK, and in 2015, there were two trucks, one which started in the south and one which began its journey in the north. This was due to the fact that it had been so popular the previous year, and one truck could not visit all the cities alone. Uh, So now we do have it up here as well in North America. A famous Coca-Cola advert in 1999 showed a huge fleet of red trucks driving along. However, there were only three trucks that were used during the filming. Special effects came into play to make the viewers believe that there was hundreds of Coca-Cola trucks uh, going around. 2001 and 2007, Coca-Cola stopped using the traditional Christmas campaigns uh, in an adverts in a way that everybody had been used to, and due to public uproar, they brought back their famous campaigns, marking the start of the festive season for many. The red truck isn't just a pretty sight. Many families and individuals queue up all day just to get a can of Coca-Cola from the truck itself, and the TV advert titled Journey saw the Coca-Cola trucks come to life while a man and his grandson were reading a Christmas story in the piece of their home. The trucks surprised them by coming alive. The Coca-Cola tour stops are usually accompanied by Christmas music, either from loudspeakers or a live choir adding to the spirit of the season and during the 2013 the hashtag uh, hashtag holidays are coming was tweeted more than 57 million times the same year around 2 million people visited the coca-cola website to find out where the truck would be stopping and i know that it was just in toronto not too long ago um, because we saw it on our news channel they had it downtown in 2015, an MP of the city of Leicester, UK, brought the children in the area would suffer negatively as a result of drinking the sugary drink. And despite his efforts to stop the truck, most people still wanted to visit their city. The truck usually starts touring at the end of November and then finishes the tour just two or three days before Christmas Day. And in 2011, uh, Mylini Class launched the first Coca-Cola truck tour in the UK, and it began in London, and the model made a toast. So you can see it. It's gone all over the place. Uh, if you want to check it out on Twitter, go to at Christmas Truck. Matt Smith was the first member of the public to drive the famous Coca-Cola truck. He wanted to raise awareness for cystic fibrosis, and his post on social media went viral within hours. Now you can see there is a lot of the red famous truck, and it's all across North America. So there you go. If you didn't know about the uh, the fit, the um, famous uh, Coca-Cola truck, 
then it's pretty cool. If you've never actually uh, seen it all dressed up, you got to check it out. It is one sweet ride for sure. And uh, you know where you can make your ride one sweet ride? That's with our friends over at Chrome Supply Warehouse. That's right. Chrome Supply Warehouse has some of the best parts. If you don't have, they all have all the popular makes for Chrome that you can get. But if you don't have that, they've got 12 gauge in their back pocket, which gives you custom accessories. And uh, owner Brett Aki just built his beautiful. Um, 1978 Peterbilt cab over and all with chrome parts from Chrome Supply Warehouse. So where can you check them out? If you're going through Ontario, stop in at Belleville, Ontario, exit 438, uh, 538, sorry, north side of the highway uh, in Belleville, Ontario, or you can check them out online at chromesupplywarehouse.com. Let's get a... Let's get this uh, going. Make sure you follow us. Check out the video on the on the Christmas truck so you can see it for yourself. And uh, thanks for listening to Lead Pedal Podcast. If you're celebrating Boxing Day, I know you're having a good one. Uh, I hope it's a good one. And follow us on our socials. You know where we are. And we'll talk to you next time. Bye for now. And be sure to follow the podcast on Facebook and Twitter.